Hello everyone. Welcome Sunday morning. Ben, come say hello to everybody. Ben hasn't been saying hello lately. Hi everyone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he's missing all of you, as I am. Um, we're going to go into the cards first. And we're going to go into Colette Byron Reed's Goddess Power. So the new week. Last week in August. Can't believe it. For the group for the last week in August. Parvati Devotion. Beautiful, beautiful card. Love all her artwork. Hold on. <clears throat> True commitment comes from wholehearted living, body, mind, and spirit. When the Hindu goddess Parvati rises up to greet you, she is acknowledging you for your sincere devotion of personal growth. With the world in so much turmoil, it's not easy to devote yourself to higher knowledge and learning and strong faith. But if you are here to serve others by being a bearer of love, compassion, and light, you must recommit yourself every day as unwavering in your devotion. Wow, that's beautiful. Pravate asks that you find silence in daily meditation to contemplate your devotion as well as your commitment to all of life and to making the world a better place. The great goddess is present when you renew your devotion and make that relationship primary above all else. Then in all areas of your life, your every choice will be in alignment and in service to the truth. When the goddess Parvate <clears throat> comes to visit, it is a beautiful sign that you are on the right track. And it says, message, the goddess Parvate comes now to offer her help because blind faith in others isn't serving you and devotion to something undeserving may be showing up in your life. Ask yourself, why are you so committed to someone or something you know deep down will fail you? Are you afraid of seeing things as they are? What if you let go and allow a higher force to guide you to the right people, places, and things? that are in your highest good. Can you remember when the devotion to this ultimate spiritual partnership was reciprocated? Consider what happens when you place your attention only on money, status, ambition, and power. The world becomes narrow and you lose your connection to the higher existence and your greater good. The goddess Parvate offers this alignment test. Get your spiritual life in order. Make prayer and meditation part of your daily routine. Act as if you believe that what is for you won't go past you, and that which what must proceed will do so without your interference. You will be amazed at how everything falls into place. The goddess Pavarte reminds you that you are so loved and cherished. What a nice message. And you know, <clears throat> I love the whole saying about well, first of all, recommitting every day. I totally believe that with the energies on this planet right now, the light and the dark having their war um, on the inner planes that's playing out also here. Um, we need to commit every day. You know, are you part of the love and the compassion on this planet or not? So, and, and the other thing I loved was that um, when they talk about where are you committing to? Who or what or where are you committing that maybe doesn't deserve your commitment so this feels really good to me love it all right magdalene oracle up and coming last week of august revelation Interesting. A lot of bold colors in that. Revelation. Hmm. 
Oh, thank God. I love the decks that have it alphabetical and you can find them so much easier. Revelation, you will soon find the answers you seek. Sit quietly, bring your focus to your breath and meditate. Pay attention to what you feel in your heart. The answer will surface from within. It is understandable that the current circumstance is creating anxiety and stress in your life. It is human nature to want to make sense of everything in our lives. However, don't waste your energy trying to figure everything out logically, for this will only cause further confusion. Trust the loving guidance within you and know that all unfolds in perfect time. All will fall into place over the coming two months. It's interesting they say that because I feel like, you know, we have another wave coming and I feel like, you know, we need to get to the other side of that. And I hope I'm wrong. That would be awesome. But Revelation, with the devotion and the Revelation card, to me it says this up and coming week is all about going inward. All about going inward. And then we have the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Thought it'd be fun to bring some different decks out. So for the last week of August, for everybody, crystals, what are the message? And I didn't even realize that I had pulled the crystal out knowing I had a crystal deck here. I forgot about that. This is Kyanite, and Kyanite's a beautiful blue stone. I don't know where it is. It's on one of my window ledges, but Kyanite. Okay. That's a powerful one, too. Intuition, ideas, and dreams. Pay attention to your intuition this week and to your dreams over the next coming days. For you are being guided towards deeper spiritual understanding and insight. Through this process, much of what, which occurs on a subconscious level or in your dream state, That's it. A rather ingenious idea will surface that will radically change your views on life, particularly your career. Kyanite will help you ground the ideas as you discover ways of practically applying your ideas in your everyday life and work. However, do not try to force the process. The idea will surface when you least expect it. Simply relax and allow yourself to be open to new possibilities and insights Know that they already exist within you in an abstract spiritual form. So again, we are continuing with our Take It Within week. Meditation, meditation, devotion, all of it. And I thought the last one would be a light and fluffy. So this is Doreen Virtues, uh, Healing with the Fairies. So fairies, what do you want to tell us about this next up and coming week? Detoxification. Now, what do they want us to go within? It's a little fairy taking a bath in a lake, scrubbing herself. All right. You are being guided to clean your body, environment, mind, and heart of toxins. God and the fairies will help you with this one or with this endeavor. It's time to let go of toxins within and around you. This card validates your inner guidance that has been telling you, let go of harmful habits, go outside in nature, call upon the fairies to surround you, ask God and the fairies to help you release toxins from your mind, body, and heart. Ask them to help you release your cravings for harmful habits. You'll soon find yourself naturally desiring organic fresh food and produce. You'll be guided to read in ingredient labels of foods, beverages, and toiletry items, and you're only one to use natural products. You'll be guided away from environmental toxins, and most important, your thoughts and emotions will veer you away from judgment and fear and will become love-based instead. And the affirmation they give us is, I take excellent care of my body and I crave only health, beautiful, healthful foods and beverages. Interesting. So this one had a lot for me because lately I've been feeling I read for so many people and even though I'm not seeing them in person, there's still energy that gets deposited. So talking about cleansing myself, 
cleansing my environment and I haven't gotten to the environment lately, but I need to, that's just validation for me. And also the weight stuff, the eating better choices and all that. Um, and so this week, just to repeat, devotion, revelation, kyanite, which was intuition and dreams and detoxification. So I think we've come far enough where now we don't know what's coming, but we have to go inward. Everything is a spiritual solution at this point. And we really need to go inward and do our own private work that will add to the collective. So this week, absolutely take the time to do that detox and be better with your choices um, if you have any bad habits or whatever. All right, so um, I did want to talk about, I've been hearing an awful lot from people that they're depressed or they just can't get out of their own way or they feel like there's a dark cloud over them. And it's funny, I don't ever get like that, but guess what, I did this week. I had a couple of really bad days that I thought, what the heck is going on? And I think the reason that I got it was that I needed to see how other people are feeling right now, especially with their mental health, because there's an awful lot of people struggling right now. And I needed to know what that feels like. I was laying in bed feeling like I was gonna have a panic attack and I thought, oh my God, this is horrible. And there was nothing upsetting to me or anything. So I thought, isn't that interesting that in order to have the compassion that we really want you know we have to know what does that feel like and it was not pleasant so for all of you that have anxiety panic attack disorder any of that my heart goes out to you i um it took me a while to get myself out of it and man you know i know i put a happy face on every day and come out here but sometimes we all have our struggles and I just feel that I owe it to all of you to be in a better place. And most of the time that's the case. But wow, I felt like I was digging in a, digging a hole for myself and I just wanted to go in and pull the covers over my head. So if that's what all of you feel like with what you're going through and not knowing where is it coming from, is it the bigger picture of things? Am I picking up stuff for my loved ones what is it and just feeling so helpless that um that was the answer i got from spirit so i had to experience it to know what people are feeling and the other thing is that i really believe is that all of you god bless you that have been working on the front lines in all its compa capacities um I feel like you haven't even begun to deal with the emotional stuff that you've had to stuff at this time, especially those caring for the people in the hospital, the EMTs, ambulance attendants, everybody like that, nurses, doctors, um, walking clinics, That that's not easy. And where do you put all of that? You're seeing people dying in front of you you're the last with them. They can't say goodbye to their own family members. Where does that all go? So whether it was that or whether you're someone who lost somebody in COVID, I am so sorry for you. And please reach out. Please find a way to deal with what you're really feeling. Don't just shove it under the rug because guess what? It has to come up again somehow, somewhere in your life. So if you don't deal with it now, you will be dealing with it later. So just wanted to give a shout out for that and um, how big that all is for all of you. And if you need it, reach out to a therapist. Go and talk to someone about the feelings you've had to stuff. It'll be well worth it. The other thing I wanted to talk about is um, I wanted to talk about uh, we talked about how the planets were all in retrograde and that means they appear to going to be going backwards and um, even though they are not 
And one of the things that I wanted to say is that when that happens, we're not very motivated. We feel like we're stuck in the past. How many of you are reviewing the past right now or really looking at everything that's happened from your childhood or whatever, and you're finding out that, wow, a lot of garbage is coming up, a lot of the past, things I thought had gone away are coming up again. There's another wave. And this is what this time is about right now. And so the other thing I wanna say to you is that know that as we say that the planets are in retrograde, humanity is in retrograde right now. Because what that means is that it appears that all of us are going backwards right now. And the rule of thumb is if, if you wanna do something new, make sure it's something you already started, at least the idea of it or whatever, uh, before all these planets went into retrograde. And really be able to look at that because guess what? There's a lot there. And you know, humanity is on hold right now because no one really knows you know, what's gonna happen. No one really knows, um, oh my God, you know, um, I'm gonna have this job forever and always, or this is gonna happen, or that's gonna happen, or, you know, issues that you may have had in your relationships that you started talking about but never came to a conclusion or to the final place may all be flushing up again. So just know that, and know that we're all on hold right now. So stay tuned. Thank you as always, and send me some healing names. Bye for now.